Revolution. Today I'm venturing out of Vienna to meet the kind of chef I always enjoy meeting. 40 miles south of Vienna is the little village of Purbach. It's in a wine-growing region of Austria made famous in the 16th century when the Turks invaded and were repelled. Me and Joachim Reidel, author and editor for Die Zeit, a German magazine. If you were from Vienna, you'd come out here for the weekend. You come out for the weekend. Kill a goat. Kill a goat, eat it, drink. Sleep. Drink. I could really drink. use a drink and yeah. some food. I'm starving. Good. No nose or tail. It's no, it's brain, brains, tongue, and heart, lung. Andouille. No, andouille. Right. Are these traditional preparations or updated? And they're updated. I mean, they're it's updated. his own way. It's, it's his own way. It's, but these ingredients are certainly traditional. It is a very old tradition. In former times, when people had less money, they couldn't afford to eat red meat, so they were stuck with this. This is what you got. The rich got, got the meat, got, got the roasts, got the and then the muscles, and they got the guts. Oh, that's, here we go. So that's the brain. Poached in red wine sauce, cut and sprinkled with salt and cracked pepper, and served on greens with red wine and herb sauce. Yeah, that's good. Then, tongue cooked in saffron-infused stock and served with a celery reduction. Ah, uh, that's pretty. The thing now is local produce. You, you want to get away from big market, but it also has a lot to do with cultural history and uh, with the identity of the people who eat it. Anonymous, industrialized products. You, you really, it's, it's just nourishment, but it's not food anymore. Because food, I think, what's on your plate can also be food for your brain. It tells us a history and tells us stories. It makes it a little bit easier to understand who we are, other than fat people, you know? I believe this absolutely. Heart, which I'm beginning to think is one of the truly perfect cuts of meat, cubed with a cognac, thyme, and ginger sauce with gnocchi. Oh, I love heart. See, this is a dish that used to be fairly common in, in America uh, around the turn of the century. Mm -hmm. the menus everywhere. Completely disappeared. With mm. very nice tomatoes and mince. Nice. Thank you, Max. Wonderful. Give me the two sets. Thanks. Bitte. I'm really enjoying this meal. Delicious. First of all, it's a beautiful place. Thank you. And the f the, the the food is sensational. I'm curious, why this? He cooks in the rain, where he is. Well, he says he cooks this type of food because in the course of globalization, everybody forget about these things, and this is the basic of cooking. It was a daring presentation. I love this man. He's nice, isn't he? Yes, he's good for the world. He's good for society. Well, first of all, it's good for us.